Hey, Zoom writers, I want to share with you how to make an article like this. And it's pretty cool. You might not understand what's going on here at first glance. So let me explain it to you. So this is top five places in Hawaii. And we have five places, Waikiki Beach, Volcanoes National Park, Hunama Bay Nas Nature Preserve, Maui's Road to Hana, Historic Pearl Harbor. And so those are our, our five places and we have our key takeaway section. Now, normally that, that would be nothing special. And we have some H3s in here. But if you look, all of the H3s are similar. Each one starts with an overview section. And then we have this other H3, and a little bit different, but these second H3s are main, the main attraction of this area, the main attraction of each of these areas. But the AI has retitled it, re-envisioned it, taken the phrase main attraction and actually made it something that would be an actual phrase that you'd want for an H3. And this last H3 right here, visitor recommendations, suggested itineraries, essential visitor insights, those are all tips that the AI has then taken and, and retitled to an H3. Now you're like, oh, that's interesting. That's not really super cool, but check this out. This is top five places in Hawaii. Here's top five places in Italy now. And now it's following the same format. We have the overview sections. We have the, the next H3s and whatnot. And you can just imagine in your mind for a second, now you expound this to top five places in Hawaii, top five places in Italy, top five places in Alaska. Or maybe we put some long tails on there, top five places in Alaska for hiking or something like that. Now, the more long tail you go, you might want to enable SERP scraping. But this just shows you how you can have a very repeatable outline using the custom outline feature inside of ZimWriter. Let me show you how it works. So in ZimWriter, we can go to the bulk writer and you can use the custom outline feature in the bulk writer and also in the Penny Arcade. It doesn't make any sense to use it in the SEO writer because the SEO writer, you're actually creating the entire outline. So it wouldn't make sense to use it inside of here. But we'll go to the bulk writer and you could put in your, your title, like top five places in Hawaii, top five places in Italy, you have a thousand different titles in here. All right, and what you'd get without any custom outline is you get those five places. You could click enable H3 and get some random H3s inserted also in there but it wouldn't be that repeatable outline, that overview section for each one, and then some different H3s in there. So how do we do that? We do that with the custom outline feature. So here's the custom outline, and you can load, you can save up to, I think 10 or maybe 50. I forget how many you can save, but you can save a bunch, and then you can just load them up by, so I'm doing the top five right now, but I have Amazon ones in here, recipe ones. So the top five, and I've taken it over here so you can see it a little bit better. What, it's hard to explain this in a video. There's a directions link up here. You click the directions link and it will take you to the, the directions for using a custom outline. This is definitely something to read and, and understand if this is something you want to delve into. Now I'm using AI language, right? If you want to delve into this, you're going to want to read this. Because if you just start putting in stuff that the AI, that ZimWriter does not really want, if you start putting stuff in that's not a proper format, you're not going to get great results. You'll get terrible results. So read this and understand this, understand the different variables that you can use. And then what I'm showing you now will, will make sense. So maybe pause the video, go read this custom outline feature. You can find it in the link inside of the custom outline, read it, and then come back to the video. So here's what we have for our custom outline. And I upgraded the custom outline functionality in version 9.504. So if you want to use this, make sure you're at least on that version. I will put another version out in a couple more days that will tweak a few more things. And I'll show you why in a second. But right now, here's the custom outline that I use to generate both of these articles. So I have place one and then optimized title. It explains what this variable is. It prompts the AI with the article title, which would be top five places in Hawaii, for instance, up to 1500 words of global background or the SERP information plus the subheading, the supplied subheading. So the supplied subheading is place one. So it feeds all that into the AI, the top five places in Hawaii, the background information, which we don't have, we didn't use. I just used GPT-4 Turbo. But if you wanted to use SERP scraping, if you're going long tail, you might wanna, you know, you might wanna use SERP scraping, you might wanna use some global background information. But it takes the background, it takes the title, and then it takes this, place one, all right? And then it's, it optimizes, it re-envisions what it should be given the context of the article. So instead of just being place one, it called it Waikiki Beach. And then it gets down here to this one, place two. Place two turns into Volcanoes National Park. All right, place three becomes Hunama Bay Nature Preserve. Now, OpenAI is always changing stuff, all right? I've tweaked this a lot, so now it works really well 
with the current version of, of OpenAI. Just keep an eye on the different output you're getting with the different titles that you're putting in. Your mileage will vary a little bit, but you can think outside the box here. We can do places. We could do things. This works really well with listicles. I think I have a list, uh, a recipe one in here, for instance. History of the recipe. Let me paste this over here so you can see. So this would be like a, a recipe one, history of the recipe. And then it would optimize that title. So if we did like barbecue ribs, it would say like history of barbecue ribs. Common ingredients. We're optimizing the title. So it might say like common ingredients of barbecue ribs. Recipe. And it might say like your mom's or your dad's favorite barbecue rib recipe or something like that, you know? So you can do this with different things that you'd want a repeatable outline for. But let's go back to this one. So we talked about the place, we're optimizing the title. Now, the overview, we want to do an H3, so we have a little dash here in a space that makes this an H3. Now we have overview. So each one of these is going to get an H3 called overview. We don't have any custom variables on it. So what happens is that's going to guarantee that we're going to get an H3 called overview. Now, and just be careful, like if you have it lowercase, it's going to give you a lowercase overview. It's going to be exactly how you type it in here. Then we have main attraction. All right. The main attraction of place one, whatever that is. So the main attraction of Volcanoes National Park is the fact that it's an iconic feature. Step into the heart of Volcanoes National Park and witness Kalui and Mauna Loa, two of the world's most active volcanoes as they sculpt the island's landscape with their fiery might. That's cool. And then and we get that for each one of these. So the main attraction for place two, actually that was place two. Let's go to place one, Waikiki Beach. The main attraction would be the signature highlight. All right, so it didn't specifically list what that was, but it says signature highlight. Dive into the heart of Ohu's, I, I'm butchering this, splendor by exploring the bustling scene and serene waters of Waikiki Beach and emblematic paradise for travelers or what this isn't great like what else what, what's the highlight of the beach what's the beach itself but this is still good this would still work for the article i wouldn't delete this or edit this this is so pretty good and then for each one of these we have a tips section but we've optimized the title again so it's not going to just say tips now if we just wanted to say tips we can delete that and just say tips tips on visiting and then you'll get an h3 called tips for visiting but if you want that modified if you don't want it to say tips if you want it to actually say something a little bit more SEO relevant for Waikiki Beach. Now we have visitor recommendations for Volcanoes National Park. We have suggested itineraries, what to do when you go to the park. Hunama Bay Nature Preserve, Essential, Essential Visitor Insights, Maui's Road to Hana, Traveler's Advice. Now you'll notice, let's see. I am getting a glitch, it seems like, on on both of these for the third one. I wonder if it's because of my outline. Let's see. I am getting top five places in Hawaii, and that shouldn't be there. Maybe it's something I need to edit. Let's see. This is four. Traction. So I'll have to look at my code for some. I don't know why this is. Maybe this is leaking out because... It's saying like top five places in Hawaii, and then it has the actual uh, main attraction down below. I don't know. I'll have to take a look at the code. You know, give this a once over after you create it, just to make sure that you're, that the AI is, is giving you exactly what you want, but you can edit this. Let's go back to the top five thing right here. Let's see. So this would be the main attraction. Continuing along Maui's road to Hana, you'll discover the top five must-see spots that embody the island's breathtaking allure. So you could say best places in Maui's Road to Hana or something like that. That would work out just fine. And the tips for this one are traveler's advice and then historic Pearl Harbor overview, defining a historical landmark, visitor etiquette and respect guidelines, something you definitely want to do if you're going to go visit Pearl Harbor. Then we get to Italy, top five places in Italy. We have Venice's enchanting waterways, Tuscany's rolling hills and vineyards, Rome's ancient Colosseum. And all of these are AI images. I use Dolly right now because Stable Diffusion is having some issues at the moment. They're, I think they're just down right now. So I use Dolly, a little bit more expensive, but really good images. That's a really good AI image with the little sun flare. Let's see. Amal Amalfi's Coast Scenic Beauty. So yeah, that's how you can now use the custom outline to get a really cool kind of bespoke repeatable template with custom H3s for your different articles inside of ZimWriter. Obviously give stuff a once over. I'll look at the code again and improve it. ZimWriter's always improving. That's the that's what a lot of people like. I'm always looking behind the scenes to make sure that stuff's uh, getting fixed and improved. 
If you have any questions, drop a comment down below, ask it in the Facebook group. Otherwise, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. There's a link down below to get Zimwriter. Other than that, good luck with your content generation, and I'll talk to you later.